Hi, I'm Peggy Farron, and you're watching the Understand Photography Show, where we talk about travel, nature, and fine art photography. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking with Eden Chavez about Facebook marketing strategies. The Understand Photography is first a podcast. Um, you can listen to us on any, of, any way that you listen to podcasts, but I'm going to beg a little bit. Reviews on iTunes help us more than anything. It helps us come up with the search engines, kind of how podcasts work. It's all about iTunes. iTunes is the big one. So if you can write us a review, really, really appreciate it. And plus, it makes us feel like we're doing something worthwhile. <laughs> we also are on YouTube and Facebook. So everything goes out at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Fridays. So we have a new show, YouTube, Facebook, and podcast, 4 p.m. on Fridays. We also have a short video every Tuesday, so check that out. It's a short training video every single Tuesday on YouTube. Um, our website is understandphotography.com. Please click on it, and you'll see it says click for freebies. Click on one of our freebies. I'm sure there's something in there that interests you. We've got like a uh, PDF that says how to get tack sharp images every time. If you're new, what kind of camera should I buy? All kinds of stuff. And um, also like us on Facebook. But we're going to get started. Eden Chavez is a repeat guest because he was amazing. He was on episode 93, so go back and check that out. But not right now. Stay with us here. <laughs> Eden is a successful landscape photographer and workshop and tour leader in Miami, Florida. And he is... Oh my gosh, this guy has so much energy and has so many things going on. So, But today we're going to talk about Facebook, so welcome back. Thank you so welcome much for back. having me. Hey, happy to be here. Different set since the yeah, last I time like you it. were here. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Different position before we were over there, now yeah. we're here. I like it. Thank Very you. cool. Thank you. We're, we're growing up. Yeah, that's good. I'm still, I'm not growing up at all. No, and you're never growing no, up, no, right? No, I'm good. I'm good. My son has a friend named Frank Turner, and uh, he's a British, well, actually, he's doing quite well. He's a punk rock guy nice. he's got a song about i forgot the name of it but basically you know how horrible it is to grow yeah, up why do we want to grow no, up no we don't i don't i'm good, <laughs> I'm good. i'd like to play i'll play till i die for sure all right so let's talk about facebook in general okay and then a little bit about facebook advertising and all kinds of stuff so facebook is crazy you have how many different facebook pages i have a lot of facebook pages i have um I have a few. I have my main one is it's called Fine Art Photography. It's got 850,000 uh, likes, 830,000 followers. So it's pretty big. It's huge. It's I, huge. I stumbled across and yeah. I'm like, look at this. And then I went, oh my God, that's Eden. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's big. Uh, it's big. But it's been, um, it's been 10 years in the making. Okay. So I started that 10 so years ago with zero uh, followers, with nothing at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it got to be pretty big. So, and I still keep up with it. I still post every single day. Um, I kind of turned it into a community page. So, it started off as my personal page. It's a business page. It's a business page, correct. Because you have to have a personal page in order to have a business page, correct? Well, you need your pro personal profile and then you need to do your business page. Do you use your personal I use my page? personal for my stuff. I use my fine art. I, like business. I said, I turn it into a community page. And how so, do you do that? So because I just share I just share other people's work and share their links and try to get them some traffic and try to get them some ah. some exposure and some um, yeah and I just you know I never had any kind of help ever starting out and I never knew if my photography was good or bad and so what this page allows me to do is kind of give people uh, a little bit of exposure and a little bit of help a little bit of a push you know for other people to see their work. That's and awesome. I, yeah, and I think it's just nice, uh, nice to do that for people. You and know? how do you find these people? They find you. Yeah, they post on the page, so they become the page has kind of uh, has kind of gotten traction on its own. So people will just uh, constantly post on there, and I'll just go through all the images, and then whatever I like, I I repost and I tag them and. And okay, now, now when they post on the page, do you have to approve that, or is no, no, that no. in the settings? No, no, no. Well, when they post, it doesn't go to like the actual timeline. It goes to like a posts timeline, which if you as a viewer you can see it, but you have to kind of go find it. But it doesn't go to like the main. It doesn't show up that fine art photography posted. It just shows that 
Peggy posted on fine art photography. Wait, okay, so let's say, so it's your, it's facebook.com slash fine art photography? No, the name of the page is fine art photography. It's facebook.com forward slash uh, Eden Chavez photography. Okay, so that's the direct link. That's the direct link. Yeah. So I go on that You'll link. You'll find it though just by typing fine art photography. You sure only, will. <laughs> the only fine art photography page that's that big on there. Well, I told you how I found it. I was yeah. start. I started the group selling your photography as art. Right. And when I was looking for a, you know, like the URL to have there, you came up. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, okay, so I find your site, and I like your page, and then I want to post something on it. So I go ahead and post. Yeah, you just post it. Does it automatically? But you said it doesn't. It'll come post. Up? It'll come. It'll post, but it'll show up. Um, so to the world, it'll just show up, it'll just say Peggy posted on fine art photography. So it's not a big deal. But you won't see it. You on won't fine see it. No, you won't see it on like the main page. Okay. How do you? Okay. So then so, what but happens? But don't worry. I go through them all. That's okay. what I do before when I wake up in the middle of the day and before I go to bed. I'm like looking at it. When you I, wake up in the middle of the day. No, when I wake up, I do it. <laughs> when I wake up in the, I mean, when I, in the middle of the day, I do it, and at night I do it. Just um, teasing. I know, but I just really like it. I really like. Uh, Wait, 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 because I still want to make sure I understand. Yeah, yeah. Facebook is confusing to me. It's not. It's really easy. So, okay, so so it doesn't show up anywhere. It doesn't. Only, it does. it only does. I can see it no, and no, you no, can see it? No, everybody can see it, but it doesn't show up that... So when it becomes valuable is when it shows up, when it says, Fine Art Photography shared your photo. Oh. Because then the 850,000 people can see it. But when you post it, nobody really sees it. Just a few I know, of that's your, why I was so confused. Just a few of your fans sees it, see it, and, and that's about it. Well, that's exactly why I start. Okay, first I start the Facebook page, and right. of course it's been a long time, so I can't remember real clearly. But then I realized it's not interactive. It's not. So that's why I started the groups. Right. So I have the two different groups now. But, but you can make it interactive by yeah. Finding the posts and sharing, and sharing them, and, and then talking. they show yeah. up on your then they'll show up on fine news art feed. Exactly. Okay. Then it becomes big, right? Because people are all excited yeah. because you're sharing their work. Yeah, because it gets a lot of views, it gets a lot of shares, it gets a lot of likes, you know. And it gives you, uh, it makes you feel special because it's it has to be good for it to show up on there. I mean, you can I don't just repost crappy photos. Mm -hmm. I post photos that I think are, are worthy of people to stop and look at them. Um, you know, it's a fine art gallery. It's a fine art online gallery. So okay. it has to be a pretty good photo for me to post it. Do, does anybody ever get mad at you when you don't post something? Uh, no, I get a lot of messages, but when it's a page that big, I can't answer them. I'll read, I'll scroll through them. Yeah. And people are like, please share my photo, or yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. give me some soft story that their dad is dying and they'd love to see it. Like some ridiculous. Yeah, stuff. yeah. <laughs> so I kind of ignore it. I'm, I just, I'm fair. I'm like, everybody post on the timeline. And we'll go through that. I can't, you know, I would need a, a full-time assistant. It, yeah, yeah, it'd be a full-time job just reading yeah. the, the messages. Yeah. So yeah. Unless you're offering me money, if you say, hey, <laughs> you know, I'll give you a couple thousand bucks if you put it, hey, I'll read those all day long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you started this Facebook page. I started it 10 years ago when I started my, my personal page. And just people kind of just found it because it wasn't so well, big yeah, back then. And then ridiculous. you were sharing and then people still no, sharing. No, it was just my personal one. But at the time, I was just starting photography. So it was just like any other page. Uh, and as my photography got better, the page started getting a little bit of traction. But all I would ever share was my stuff. Okay. But it got to a point where I guess I didn't really need to share my stuff because my stuff on my personal, you know, my personal Facebook page was doing fine. So then I started sharing other people's work. Okay. And that started getting a lot of traction. Okay. So then that's kind of the page started kind of growing. Turning out of into control. more of a gallery yeah, than a Exactly. And I still share some of my stuff, but you'll rarely see one of my photos on there. It really is like for other people. So what's in it for you to have that? I just really like looking at photos. I really enjoy looking at beautiful photos. But I mean, does it help your business in any way, shape, or yeah, form? Yeah, it does. People now know that I run it, and people reach out to me, and people reach out for jobs. Like, I've, I just got somebody a job in New York, and they're making six figures. So it gives me pride, you know, that I was able to accomplish that. But how does it help you financially? Well, I share sometimes I share affiliate links on there. Okay. It, run, it drives traffic through my websites. Mm -hmm. It drives traffic to my personal page. Okay. And that in turn turns into sales of my personal stuff. Okay. I mean, All I right. could be I could totally devote that page to myself and just post my stuff. I just think you, 
I wouldn't be doing the world any favors. There's a lot of great photos that right, need to be seen, right. and I think I have a good engine to to do that in. So why not? You know, it's like you have a podcast. Imagine if, you, if your podcast was just you running your mouth about yourself all day. It's not as cool <laughs> as having other guests, right? I think so. Right. I so mean, a lot of podcasts I listen to though are just the host. Yeah, but it's more. But it's funner not for when, an hour. Yeah, Ours is an hour long show. <laughs> right. Right. It's funner when you have other people. I you agree. Know, and you when you share other people's. I agree. Plus, I think, you know, if it's because I want this to be a teaching podcast, so. Sure. Like the way you say something might resonate better with someone than right. the way I say exactly. it. Exactly. Even if we're saying the same thing. Exactly. So it's a better learning activity if you have different people involved. Yeah, yeah. And the same thing with looking at pictures. Right. right. You see, oh, look at what that guy did with this. Yeah. And, and I also like to have a voice. Like there's a lot of a lot of not very nice people on the internet. I don't know if you've noticed. Are you kidding? So, I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. So <laughs> I sometimes I'll yeah, all the so haters. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. So sometimes I'll share like a, a photo that I think it's great, and then you'll get the jealous people, mm. right? Um, and it's nice to have a voice for somebody that can can I can just post, you know, I can reply to that and have a voice for everybody. Say what everybody's thinking. It'll be it'll be seen as that voice. Yeah. You know. So it's not just like somebody in their bedroom, like, man, I wish I could say something. It's like, you know, I can reply you can. politely and, and kind of bring them down from whatever. Yeah. yeah. With my YouTube channel, it depends on how mean they are. If they're super just mean for no reason, I just take the comments off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they're, you know, your sound quality sucks, I'll, I'll usually just leave that on. But right. it's like... It's, there's a nice you know, ways to say things. Yeah, like, hey, I mean, know. why do people be, I mean, yeah. that, what, what would your mother think yeah, of you right? talking I that think way? Board, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go, how many other Facebook pages? I have a lot of So groups. you have your regular personal yeah. Eden Chavez. Yeah. Then you have Eden Ch Chavez Photography, which is, which is the 850,000 right. likes. Then I have a Shut Your Aperture, that one's got like... You have a what? Shut Your Aperture. Shut? Your aperture. Yeah, it's okay. another one of my websites. And, and what's that about? That's it's all photography. And that's a Facebook. It's a Facebook page, page and it's also my another website I have. And, and I what's the purpose of that one? It's all photography related. I sell courses. I sell presets. Okay. A lot of affiliate links on there. Okay. So um, that's more of an educational one. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, a lot of tutorials. Because you're very good at training. Yeah, that's what I've been told. You and are I like really it. good Thank at it. Thank you, and I like it, and I like it. So, okay, so yeah. shut your aperture. Shut your are aperture. There more? Then I have uh, I have some other ones that are nothing photography related, um, and then I have a lot of groups. So I'll have I have uh, Miami photographers. And these are the Facebook groups. These are groups, okay. and that one's got a couple thousand members. And I also have a uh, Miami Beach Photography Club that's got like thirty five hundred, I think I want to say. But I'm all, I'm active in all this all the time, nonstop. It's, okay, it's, so what's the difference for our viewers? or listeners, what uh, is the difference between a Facebook page and a Facebook, and a Facebook group. group? Well, to me, the Facebook group is kind of more personal, <coughs> mm -hmm. right? So I wanted to engage more with the community, with the groups. So I host a lot of meetups. I host a lot of workshops. I host a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of uh, get-togethers in, in Miami. So I wanted a way to be more personal with people, uh, engage more on a personal note, and the, the, the groups allow me to do that you know uh, groups are way more interactive exactly because right. people can just well you can set the settings i think yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. but most like on my groups anybody can post yeah so same with mine with mine anybody i have a few rules anybody can post if somebody breaks a rule all right so what tell us about like if you're going to start a group my rules are no advertising whatsoever of your personal brand so you can post pictures and then you can post a link of whatever you want but if you're like a car salesman you know don't be hey i have a car deal tonight check it out because i'll ban you immediately i'll delete it and if you right. do it again i'll ban you politicians you know if you come on my on my, yeah, on my no groups, politics <laughs> you know so it has to be strictly about photography uh for me and it has to so what you do is they have rules that so they have to yeah it's a post on the top when you join the group it'll pop up a post that says here are the rules. They're pretty simple. It's basically no self-promotion of any kind. So now do you, I have two different groups now. The Sell Your Photography is Art is new and I don't have any restrictions anybody can join. Which is fine. But fine. nobody can sign people up for it. They have to join themselves. So these are all in the settings. 
Now the Understand Photography group, I was getting people posting porn on that. Yeah, that's what that's So what, now they yeah. have to be approved to yeah. get in so and I they have, have to, to answer questions. Right, so I have to approve everybody. I don't make them answer questions, but I do make them read uh, uh, the rules. Okay. And whatever you can do. And that's them. all if you have your own, you have to have a Facebook, okay, you have a personal Facebook, but in order to have a group, you have to have a business page, right? I'm not sure. I don't think you do. I think For everything, you just got to have a personal Facebook. Okay. So anybody can do it. But anyway. Anybody can do it, yeah. So you can, somewhere while you're setting it up, it will ask you. So I have my questions are, do you, you know, agree to sure. talk about only photography related things? Right. You know, that kind of stuff. Right. And I'll probably put some, you know, for the selling your photography as art. Once that gets going a little bit, I'll probably put some more yeah, yeah. stop guards in there, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. You have to because people are just crazy. I couldn't believe people were posting porn. Yeah, I, I no. thought Facebook was supposed to monitor that yeah, yeah. stuff. Um, they, they have so many people. They can't. It's impossible. But for... I mean, don't they have bots that know that's a naked guy? <laughs> Maybe the bot liked the naked guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So... Whew. All right, so say that I am a photographer and I'm a fine art photographer. You know, one way to get some exposure is to post things yeah, on your. I would gladly post all the But I want to have my own Facebook business page. So I set it up, and then what? How then do I get anybody to look post. at it? It's a lot of work. Okay. It's a lot of work. I think this late in the game, I think that's the wrong kind of strategy strategy and mentality to go into social media back then it was kind of the wild wild west it was wide open for everybody now algorithms change every day really um to basically restrict posts now facebook just rolled out a new thing where they're deleting likes um so they'll know. hide they'll hide likes so people can actually focus on content more so than they focus on getting likes oh. for posting random content. And they just rolled it out in Canada. If it does well in Canada, they're going to do it all over Facebook. So that just shows you how everything's changing. The whole landscape has been changing forever. So I think if you want to get your Facebook going, I think that's the wrong way to go about it. I think now you, can, you have to pretty much pay for it. Yeah. Um, so I mean, my Facebook business page understand photography i think i've got like 4500 likes and that's pretty good what do they say they they send two percent only two percent of the people even get to see yeah. my post yeah, it's ridiculous two percent of the people who liked my yeah, page yeah, it's ridiculous. unless i pay them mm -hmm. that's another reason for the group yeah. for me because yeah. everybody in the group sees that i don't yeah. know about everybody but uh, yeah I'm the not, active people see exactly. it so yeah, before I used to, on my fine art page, I used to get, I had 2 million reach. I, when I would do a live, a live stream, I would get like 80,000 people watching. Wow. Now if I do one, I'll get like maybe, maybe 200, 300. Because they're not showing it to exactly. anyone. Exactly. So it's, it's all, it's all changed. And so should you just keep your personal page and work I use that? my personal page and I. So do I. I have I, a lot. I have 5,000 friends, which is the, yeah, the top. Yeah, the max, yeah. But, and I slowly, you know, sometimes I'll go through and I'm like, I don't even know who this is, right. or this person died two years ago, right, or right, whatever, right. you know. And I, so then I'll leave room for a new I have friend. I have a lot of dead people in mind. I was actually I going too. through it the other night, like, well, this person, it's weird, right? It's sad. And then you it? like go through their posts. Makes you kind of think about it's like short super life weird. is. Yeah, so. But that's, if, what I usually do is I'll post it on my business page because it's more professional. Right. But then I'll share it. In your page. On my personal which is page the best, and in the group. Which is, in my opinion, is the best thing you can do. You, have, you already people have people. See it. Yeah, and you have already people that like your stuff. You have people that, that you connect with at some point, at some level. You have that connection. So when you share on your own personal page, your personal brand is actually being seen. When you post it on, on, a, on a business page, not many people are going to see it. Like, unless unless, you unless pay. it's huge or yeah. unless you pay. Um, it is, that being said, it is important to have a, uh, a professional page though. That's to do any kind of marketing, you need a professional page. You can't advertise on your own personal page. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so you need, I guess because I never tried. <laughs> yeah. So you need a, a, a professional page to do that. Okay. But that's really the only way, if you're trying to get in the Facebook game or any kind of social media game now to, to be f famous and have these massive numbers, it's not gonna happen. Unless you are extremely 
talented and you have some talent that the world hasn't seen yet, if you're just trying to start a page now, it's not going to get very big. Organically. At all, ever. I assure so you. So what that. about paid ads? Paid ads are good. I mean, that I still I do a ton of paid ads for, for my I've stuff. I've been seeing your Miami Photo Walk yeah, ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, do I like on them all the time yeah, so I could keep seeing you. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I do a lot of paid ads. I've been doing a lot of paid ads. Even when I started this fine art page, um, I think like the first the first year, I think I was $10,000 into paid ads. Wow, so but you made it back, to, so yeah, it was yeah, worth of course. it. Yeah, yeah, But Steph doesn't, I mean, social media is very much free, but money helps quite a bit. Okay, so walk us through a Facebook ad, because um, that's something that right now I'm studying. You know, right. I'm a 60-year-old woman, I turned 60. Ugh. You don't look 60. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, it's easier now than when I first started, but it's still, you it's know. It's pretty easy. Okay, let me ask you this. Because everybody's saying you should have a business manager, just don't start it in your own name. Do you know anything about that? No, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Okay, never mind then. We won't go into it because it's, it's kind of complicated, I think. So, all right, so if I want to start an ad, what do I do? You have to have the business page. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so you'll just start picking and it up. And it says create ads, right? Yeah, it's really easy. They made it so easy that really like a fifth grader can create a great ad. It's so simple, so easy. So you just pick what you want. You want like conversions or you want your ad to be seen. Okay, hold on. Let's go through that. Because okay. that is not, you think it's simple, but it's not. I've been watching all these videos, so everything's fresh in my lot, mind. There's a lot of videos on them. But you got to remember, these videos are outdated. Oh, Facebook, no, I mine all say... 2019. If okay. it doesn't say that, I'm not even watching yeah, it. Yeah, don't because, because Facebook it changes, changes so fast. It changes weekly. Everything changes all the time. I know. So you gotta like just watch That's fresh right. stuff. I'm not watching anything that doesn't say 2019 on Unless it. Unless they're my videos, then watch the old. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. Um, so there are three parts to it. There is the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. I did not understand. It's more clear now because they wrote out what they mean. Right. But when I first started doing Facebook ads, I'm like, I don't really understand what's the difference between these three. It is more clear, but why don't you explain it Gosh, for the I people? Gosh, I need to have it in front of me. I know. All right. Well, okay. So the campaign is, I can't remember what the campaign is, but I know the ad set is where you do the audience. Right. That's how you choose your audience. And right. that is, yeah, let's, that's... Talk, let's talk about so choosing for my, an audience. Yeah, so for my, it's super simple. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The campaign is where you do convert. Do you want conversion? Do you right. want traffic? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so do you? I always I always do conversion. Always do, always do conversion. conversion yeah, because I want to I wanna track for conversion. And what does that mean? So if you install a cookie on your checkout page, so whatever you use, if you use WordPress or whatever website, you got to install the Facebook pixel. Okay, that's the cookie. Yeah. So okay. you gotta install that in your website. Okay, so let's back up on that. <laughs> okay. What's a Facebook pixel? It, it's to track. So every time somebody buys something, you it'll track. It'll tell you. It'll tell you. Facebook will tell you that somebody bought something. Okay. So, so it'll how tell do you, you get that? Their that ad is working. How do you get that Facebook pixel? When you're creating an ad, you can go find your pixel. It'll and you can make it'll it. just it just lists it right there. No, it'll tell you. Right. It'll tell no. you. I have I might I've made mine so long ago. I know that's why mine's just listed. I don't somebody okay. else did yeah, it for well, you, me. Yeah, you have to make but it. But when I'm doing the ad, it shows me what my Facebook pixel is. Yeah, and if you don't have one, I think it'll say on there, would you like to make a pixel? And then you click on it and okay. you can make one. It's really easy. I, I'm telling you they made it so easy cuz they want everybody spending money. Yeah. So okay, so it. first step is to create your Facebook pixel. Mhm. Mm okay, so then you're doing your campaign. Then you got to install it on your checkout page. Okay, so you get this number, mm -hmm. and they do walk you through how to install yeah, it, super right? Easy. You they just walk you copy and paste it. They want you to be successful because you're successful. They didn't used to though. I struggled was, with this stuff so much when I started. I think I started. they used to it, but it was a lot more complex back then. Oh my then. God, my brain used to hurt. Not, <laughs> and so now I've just kind of started up again, like okay, I got to learn this again, and it's all different. It's much easier right, now. Right. Do I look super red? No. Okay, I feel really hot. I know. Well, you are hot, baby. Oh. <laughs> No, the AC is a little that. Uh, yeah. My air conditioning, by the way, audience, my air conditioning is not working, and it is uh, May in Florida. Yeah. So, so we're sweating. Yeah. Can you make it? Can I you can make, make it through? I, I think I can handle it. Okay. Um, 
All right, so we got the face, Facebook pixel. Now we're choosing conversion because now... I, I always choose conversion. Some, it depends what you want to do. Some people just want to get their brand out there or they want to collect email addresses only. But I'm always selling, so I always choose conversion. Okay. I, I'm interested in you buying. But even if you want the email address, that's a conversion, isn't it? I, I'm because not sure. They, I think they it's type. Some... I think it is conversion. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I haven't looked at Although it. Although Facebook now has some, I forgot what it's called, because I'm just learning this stuff, but something where they'll actually put up a landing page for you. Oh, really? And that's nice. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a Facebook landing page, and they automatically populate it with the email. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't know how to use it yet. I'm just okay. watching all these That's videos. That's to grow your email address, yeah? To grow your email list, yeah? Because getting someone to give you their email... It's not easy. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> okay, so so we're going to do conversions mostly. So that's our campaign. And then the next thing is ad sets. That's our audience. Right. So how do you choose an audience? It's easy. So if you're targeting to doctors, they'll tell you they're doctors. But we're photographers. We're photographers, so I, I, I will... Okay, so let's say that we want to sell our fine art photography. Okay. Because that's a big part of my audience. So if you want to actually sell your photography mm -hmm. to people, so mm -hmm. then you got to target galleries, um, gallery directors, um, people in the art world. Okay. I don't know the terms, but you can kind of do a search on those terms and then search for them in, on Facebook. And, and there's a place where you can just type yeah, in those terms. Yeah, you type in and then you click suggest and Facebook will suggest all these terms. So and then you just pick whatever you want. How, how many should you pick? As many as, it depends how, how narrow you want, how niche you want your... You want a pretty small audience, right? Yeah, I, I usually pick maybe 30. So I'll, I'll pick like... like um, Fine art photography, landscape photography, Canon, Nikon, oh, Sony, okay. um, all the camera brands. I'll do uh, bird photographers, uh, car photographers. Do you photographers. put Miami in there? Uh, well, that's another thing. You can uh, you choose can choose some, uh, your location. So most of my stuff, like I uh, market a lot of my Miami workshops and tours, so most of my stuff will be targeted in Miami. Because that's something that I struggle with because I'm selling an online class. Right. And I don't really want to. Yeah, you. Can, I want the world. You, you know, can make it as far as you want. You just got to spend more money. Yeah, yeah. So. And less people will, s less targeted people will see it. It's yeah, it'll tell you. It'll it'll tell you. It you has, don't want too many. You know, to it'll see tell it. you. It has a needle there, and it'll tell you this is good uh, enough audience, or this is like not enough. Okay. Or this is too little. It'll tell you. All right. My phone is vibrating. I'm throwing it away. So okay, so we've got the. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do conversions. We're going to make a custom audience. Never, never, never trust Facebook to give you an audience, right? I you, wouldn't. No, no, no. You, you, you know choose who you're your audience. Targeting, yeah. Okay, and you and you know that's just basic sales. It's, it's so you easy. have to know your audience. Yeah. You have to know the kind of people and that they, you're targeting. And they made it super easy. I'm telling you, they made it so easy. I mean, you can even like go to the brand, to the lenses. Like people that like certain lenses, mm. you can choose them. Like they made it pretty easy. So if you're like selling wildlife photography tours, yeah, so you like you would go anybody who's got this who's big got the long these lenses. big lenses. Yeah, That's a great. Like I didn't know that. Photographers, yeah, you can get pretty specific. I mean, you can just target these people constantly. Okay, so we've got our target audience, our custom audience. Then the next thing is developing the ad. Which is, yeah, which is a little bit tricky, but... It's That's dangerous, too, because Facebook can kick you off by, if you just blink your eye wrong. They have so many rules, right? They do, but it's fairly easy. I mean, basically, you can't have any writing on your ad bigger than... I forget what it is, but I never use writing on my ads. I never do anymore because... Yeah, because they'll, they'll, they, they'll turn it, it and off. And they, they will might approve it, and then they'll say you did something yeah, fraudulent. Exactly. It's like, you approved it. Exactly, yeah. And what was fraudulent about it? You right. said it was okay for three years or whatever right there's a whole bunch of people who are banned from Facebook advertising because and they don't have a clue what they did wrong yeah that's not good so that's every video that I'm watching they're like really read through all of the right. rules because they have really simple rules they, stupid rules that you would never do. think like was you bad can't advertise gambling you can't advertise like uh, making money like directly like you, you can't, can't put numbers in. Yeah, if or, you put numbers in, they flag you. Yeah, like or porn. the four the the four weeks to proficiency in photography. I can't say that. That's the name of my class. Mm -hmm. I can't say four. That's crazy. You can't have numbers. I didn't know that. Yeah. What else can't you do? Um, I was watching one. The guy was taught. Of course, this is a chiropractor, but he had 
Um, do you have neck pain? That's not legal. I'm yeah. like, what's wrong with that? I mean, he's, it's, it's assuming you're diagnosing a medical issue or right, something. Right, right. Which kind of makes sense, I guess. Do you have way. neck pain? That doesn't seem like you're it, diagnosing it, you know what? anything. It's a, but it sounds, it, sounds, it sounds spammy. Yeah. It sounds spammy. So I can see why they're trying. They don't want that. I mean, do and you, you probably just said the right thing. It can't sound spammy. Yeah, I mean, and that's you why wanna, the numbers are. Yeah, so it kind of has to flow with with whatever you're into. You know, imagine if you're sitting on your computer and you want to scroll through Facebook and do you have neck pain? Does your shoulder hurt? That, you know, you'd be like, what is this? I think they're trying to. No, I'd be going yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like click, click, click. No, no, no. So I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get away from that. As long as it's not spammy. But and anyway, reading the reading yeah. the rules and they're boring, but you gotta do I've it. I've never read them in my life. Well, I you've been lucky, I think, because it's no. dangerous. So okay, so I'm putting together the ad. Tell me how to put together an ad. Uh, well, I would just put a really good photo. Photo sells anything. Of course. And you use the carousel. Uh, I've used the carousel. So they have a, a choice of. You have a single a photo. You have a carousel. You have a video, now I do videos, so I'll create a video with my photos. Videos are supposed to be really good. Yeah, they're the best. They, they have the best because people, but they got to be short and sweet and to the point. Yeah. And create this. And lots of good selling, pictures. Unless you're selling a course and you can do your, your spiel video. But if you're just doing like what I do, just workshops, mine are just like five, six images in a short video with some happy music. and. I thought yours were carousels, but they're, they're videos? No, they're video, yeah. Okay. I made the video. Because so, it looks but, like a slideshow. Yeah, planner. but you can make it now on Facebook. If you don't have like editing software, they they like help you. They're, I'm telling you, they made it super easy for anybody to be successful. Uh, and then I think the most important after the photo, I think you gotta have a catchy quote, like something catchy. But you know, you gotta have a hook. Yeah, exactly. You gotta have the little hook. So, so why are they interested? Exactly. But some people post like will like have a huge a huge paragraph i don't know if that works or not maybe it does to some people it doesn't for me as soon as i see that i i i don't want click i don't want yeah I don't and want it's it. interesting because i didn't know you could put i thought you could only put a couple of lines there and now i'm watching all these facebook yeah, no, videos you, yeah. and they're they've got these huge yeah you know but the first line is the I most think, yeah, important I think that's no matter what I think mine, so what's the first line on some of yours i think mine my best one is uh do you oh gosh i forget oh epic 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 landscapes beautiful sunsets uh something like that is what you'll experience when you come to one of my tours that's oh, all i put okay. you know that kind of gets you like thinking wow i want to see epic sunsets yeah. and, and have a good experience so you look at the photo and you're like wow this is a beautiful photo yeah so you're gonna click on the link then when you click on the link then you go to my page okay and it usually now do you go to the page or do you collect their email uh i i, I send them straight to the page to okay. buy it okay yeah and i do uh, the opposite i try to collect which is their good. email you should you should always collect their email which is absolutely what you should be doing <laughs> so why aren't you doing it i don't know because <laughs> it's yeah I don't know. well try it now you got to try that new facebook landing page yeah, yeah. because that i can't believe they pop you know they actually put the email address That's right good, in yeah. there for yeah. you i think i've seen it i think i i don't sleep very well so like at three in the morning i'm scrolling through social media and i just saw that last night when <laughs> i was watching a video. yeah that's when i like click on stuff and I think I know what you're talking about. I was really like, wow, because yeah. you know I pay for lead pages, and you know that's got a. It's now that's way easier to learn when I than when I started too, because it's but it's got a, everything has a little bit of a learning curve. Everything, especially does. if you're, you know, you're young. I'm old, man. It, no, it takes not. me longer to learn the no, the technical yeah. things. Yeah. So it's uh, too many things to learn. So that Facebook thing looks yeah. really good. I'm gonna try that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got our ad, so we've got to be careful that we don't put anything spammy. Spammy, don't no sound, numbers. Don't sound like salesy, don't sound like a used car salesman, you know, I mean, that might work at a dealership, but it's, yeah, you know. Yeah, and then, and then you just. A good hook. How do you, de how do you decide how much to spend? And so how deep your pockets go. That's, what do you suggest? I've spent a lot. I've spent I've spent a thousand bucks in an ad. I've spent three dollars in an ad. Now, do you do it per day or? I do per day. Per yeah. click or? I do per day. They give you a choice, they right? They do, yeah. Okay. I do per day, uh, and I don't put an end to it because if it's doing well, I'll just let it run. 
Because you can stop at any time you want. You can want. stop at any time, yeah. Now, I always put an end to mine because mine always have a deadline because sure. my classes are not just, yeah, like when my I classes do, have a start date yeah, and an end date. Yeah, yeah. Like so when I, I need do, them to sign up before the start yeah. date. <laughs> yeah, when I do a tour, when I do like a Cuba tour or some other photography tour, then I'll do, I'll have to stop like a month beforehand. But most of them, I just let them run like crazy. And then you just monitor them. That's I the, monitor them, yeah. But if you're just new to it, I recommend just starting with a slow, with a small budget. You know, try like five bucks. I do five bucks a day yeah. almost always, unless See? until I know the ad is working. Exactly. See if that if that gets you results and you make a sale, then then add then, more. Yeah, then a little bit more cash. Yeah. That's 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 how you should be doing it. What about split testing? Because I see that option, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's uh, so it's I'm putting the ad together, and it says it's basically creating two ads. That it's creating two ads, or you're creating. Two you're ads. creating two ads. The split testing is like creating two of the same ads that are completely different to see which one works better, and then whichever one works better, then you keep that one. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's how I did. That's no. why there's not a picture of me in my head. There's a picture of Marilena. <laughs> <laughs> I have permission from her, okay, okay. <laughs> but she does better than I do. <laughs> what um. But the thing I have never tested yet, and I think you can, maybe you know the answer to this, is I want to fool around with my custom audiences with the same ad. So I, wanna, I want this ad to go out to women over 35, right. and this ad to go to men over 35. Right. I, I don't, that's super specific. I'll, I'll be. Yeah, can you do that? Yeah, I think you can. I think you can. I think you can do, I think you can, I'm not sure. I'm super, I'm lazy. Like I'm you smart. are not lazy. I'm smart. I know, but when it comes to all this, I, I, I'm like to the point. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll create a good ad that makes that makes sense, and if it works, I'm sticking to it. I don't. I don't. You I don't, don't like to, go into no. I don't. Super, just I'm, keep it simple, yeah, stupid. Yeah, and I don't have like a marketing team to go do all this split testing for me. Like I'm a one man show. So to me, I'll create something that's good, that's effective, that works, and I'll just stick and to it. And how do you know if it's effective? If, oh, if it's, oh, from if the it's, Facebook yeah, yeah. pixel? If it's selling. I'll know so if something sells immediately. Like, I'll know within that day. Like, and I just launched my, I just launched the Neverglades uh, guide. Uh -huh. And as soon as I launched the thing, I sold a few copies, like, immediately. So okay. it's working. So, so it's I'll, working. Yeah, so then I'll just add more cash to that. You know? Okay. Um, most of the time, though, you're selling tours, right? I'm selling tours. I'm selling so presets. So how do you monitor I'm all that? All kinds of things. Is it all from the? It's all from the pixel. It'll and how do you. you how do you find the report from the pixel? Uh, it'll tell you. You can go on there. Well, you can go to your business manager. If you don't have a business manager on Facebook, you should. That's where you. Well, create. that's what I was asking you about. It is. Yeah, because they said to do your ads through the business manager, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not through... You can. You can use both. I still use both. I still use the business manager and I still use the page. Okay. Um, so you can use both. Okay. Uh, but business manager is better because it breaks down a lot of things. It gives you better reports. It gives you better reports. Uh, so you understand how things are going. So it better. will say that this ad got... It'll say you spent $30 on this ad and you got four conversions. Uh, it'll tell you... The does, does views matter? Uh, I don't if think nobody views. clicks on it, does it matter how many views? I'm like, not. you got twenty thousand views and no clicks. Well, that's just who show how many. So times that's you're useless. It. That's it's, useless, right? Yeah, I mean, you all you care about is your conversions, right? Right, and I those mean, are clicks in those, most cases, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. So okay. That's what you want to track your conversions, because that's the money. That's money in your pocket. So. Okay. All right. So let's let's summarize this. So first. We had we talked about you have a personal page. Right. That's where both you and I do a lot of posting because people yeah. more people see stuff on yeah. your personal page you than have a, anything. You have your own community there. Yeah. You have a business page because you have to. Right. Because it's, everybody expects you to nowadays. Right. Number one. And to create ads, really. And to create ads, you right. need that business page. So. I think you said you did the same thing. You post things on the business page, but then you share them on the personal page sometimes. Mm, That's I post, what I do. I post most of my stuff on my personal, okay. and I'll share them on the business from time to time, rarely. Okay. On my business page, yeah, anyway. And then groups are another way if you want to get an interactive community. Mm -hmm. If you're selling fine art, I don't know. A group is a good way to connect people too. Like my goal is to help people. I love helping people. Mm -hmm. So with my groups, sometimes I'll get a gig. Like uh, a lot of people call me to like shoot quinceañeras, mm -hmm. which I don't do. I have zero interest in doing. 
So what I'll do, I'll just go to one of my groups and I'll post, hey, anybody interested? Yeah. Here's a job, you know. Or I belong to groups like that, like Southwest Florida, you know, wedding photographers, and even though I don't really do weddings anymore, right. but some I do some. Um, but I belong to several groups like that. Yeah, which is but cool. You know, it's just a group to kind of help each other yeah, out. Yeah, which is great because yeah. a lot of people need that 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 help. Yeah, you know? I think we all do from time to time. So yes. to have a way to to share them. So that's what people. That's what the groups I use groups for. Okay. Or also when I have meetups, I'll post them on my groups, and it it blows them up. Yeah, because people are like, oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Do, yeah, yeah. So it's good. Um, okay, so. But organically, if we want to grow our Facebook I audience, think you're late in the game. It's not going to happen unless you have some extremely insane talent that nobody's ever seen yet. And it's the internet. I think we've seen just about it all. Okay. So I think that's a wrong mentality to go into it. So if you want your your business, your face in front of people, basically you have to suck it up and pay for it. Basically, yeah. And I I, I agree that with that. Yeah. That's why I'm studying all this right, stuff right now right. because I. I want to make sure I'm getting, I don't want to just throw money at something. Right, I right. want to make sure I'm getting the, getting the your best return, bang for my... Yeah, you're returning your investment, of course. So my first ad that I just started again, because I wasn't advertising for a while, and I just started again, and I got, um, I spent $100, and I sold one $300 class. Okay, that's good. So I was happy with that. That's extremely good. Yeah, I mean, even though it's like only I'm sure, one, uh, but... I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you can do better if you, like, refine the ad. I'm sure you can, you can do better. But you're not losing money. You made 200 bucks. Yep. So, yep. I mean, that's good. That's why I'm studying it because yeah. I want, you know, I got like 40 clicks or something. Right. I had it on for two weeks. So I had 40 clicks, one sale. So that's I good. said, what can I do to make this better? Right. That's why I started watching all these YouTube And what you videos. can do too is you can look at your actual landing page and see what you can tweak that to make it convert a little better than it is. Maybe add better images on there. Maybe look at your text. Hire a copywriter. Uh, if you're not a good writer, if you can't type a good sales page, you can hire somebody to do that for you. How do you hire a copywriter? You can go to uh, to Fiverr. You can find somebody on Fiverr. Okay. Um, a good, good, good. And Fiverr is what? F I V E R R. Uh, correct. Yeah. F I V E R yeah. R R dot or you com. Can, yeah. Or you, there's a lot of a lot of. Uh, just Google it. Okay. Where to hire a, a good copywriter, and you'll have, get a ton of hits. Okay. Uh, usually, the ones that say ad are the people advertising, which are the people that have money, which in my opinion are the people that are probably pretty good at what they do. Oh. So I would probably click on that and then go through their sales page and then send them a message, see what, if they can write out. And you give them, just send them, here's what I want to do. Yeah. I want to sell Miami photo walks. Exactly, and they'll help you, they'll help you write a, 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 oh. a sales page. And how much do you think that would cost? Ah, gosh, I don't know. Like I mean, $700? $10. It depends. I've heard, I've paid, gosh, I've paid 50 bucks for a good, for a good page, uh, for a good um, write-up, and uh, I contacted somebody, and she quoted me at 600 bucks. So it just depends. It's, it just depends basically how so big your pockets are. So go and see if you can, uh, I'm just thinking if people are just starting out, they're not going to spend $600 right, for that. Exactly. But if they can get it for $50, right. then. That's not a bad deal. Because and Fiverr that, that, is a good place to go because there's a lot of, if you've never used Fiverr, just go on it and search around. It's kind of fun to search is, around yeah. on it. <laughs> it's you a lot, of weird, you want a lot of weird people in there too. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, I use Fiverr quite a bit actually. Yeah, Do you? Yeah, for articles, for for logos, for just weird stuff. I got like, my logo from someone on yeah. Fiverr. My Understand Photography logo came yeah. from a Fiverr person. And I, or no, 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 not the, that logo, but the um, the beginning <coughs> of the show, that little okay, yeah, yeah. song, and yeah. you know, that's all from a Fiverr yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. And I really like, I still like it. Yeah, so. no, it's good. Fiverr is good. So, so you can always uh, watch your landing page. That's important. And have really pretty photos. If your photos aren't like super good and you're advertising photography, it's totally okay. You know, that's fine. But go either buy some good photos or find some good photos to use yeah. because that's super important. Yes. So. And that's, you know, that takes me back to this is something that I struggle with because I teach photography, you teach right. photography. And I, a big problem that I'm seeing is people are, they think that they're really good and yeah. they're just not good. Yeah, you know. And, and you don't want to discourage mm. anyone because I wasn't good either right. when I started. 
And I'm glad nobody said, well, you stink, you're terrible, because I would have lost confidence and maybe not kept with right. it. But you just got to positively tell him, tell him what, what you think is wrong with the picture. Well, you know? I don't tell them unless they ask. And that most of these people are not asking. They think they're that good. And yeah, I just, so it's like you have to keep studying photography. Yeah, you have to really, really studying photography, studying editing. I think uh, like sometimes some I, I think I'm still not that great. I, I, think, I don't think I'm that great I either. Think I have a long way to go, I which is which is why I love photography so much. Because every time I'm out there, I'm like, wow, this is I didn't know this. You know, it's like you get better all the time. Yeah, hopefully, the time. or you learn yeah. something new. Yeah. Okay, so what projects are coming up for you? Gosh, what I things have, are coming up? I have a lot of stuff. So you I have, always have a lot of I stuff. Know, you yeah. are a go getter, man. <laughs> So I've been traveling a lot. Um, my next trip is to Boston. I have a travel con. I'm a speaker at travel con. Wow. I'll also be in a panel and I'm hosting some um, some photo walks, a lot of fun stuff. It's in, in Boston? In Boston, yeah. Wow. When is that? It's June 27th to 29th. I believe I could be wrong, but I believe that's it. But just go to We'll look it up and put it in the show yeah, notes. Yeah, travelcon.org. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm one of the speakers. So I did it last year. It was amazing. Super was a great turnout. My class like blew up. It was awesome. Oh, oh that's so that's cool. coming up. What else is coming up? I have my walksofmiami.com. Walksofmiami.com. Yeah, which is uh, just tours around Miami, photography tours around Miami, which is they're like starting to blow up. Cause I've always had it, but I'm kind of like part time on it. But now it's like really crazy. So I might have to hire some photographers to do some of them. Um, so if you're in Miami and you want to do a tour or a walk, just go to walksofmiami.com. They're affordable, they're cool, and I'll be in most of them. So Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I got that. What else? Uh, I just got back from Italy, but I want to go back. I think I'm going to go back at the end of summer. Was that the first time you were there? I've been to Italy before. This was the first. I, I rented a car, and I went all over Italy for three weeks. Okay. It was kind of insane. Because uh, I've only been there once. I'm going twice, though. I'm going in August and September. But... As soon as I got there, I'm like, okay, I get it why everybody loves Italy yeah, so much. It's crazy. It's like so pic picturesque, right? Yeah. It's, everything is, everything it's is incredibly photogenic. Yeah, yeah. So you're going back. So I'm going back at the end. I just feel like my photos weren't great because of the weather. The weather was really beautiful, like clear skies, sunny. So it was cool. It was nice, but it wasn't like crazy dramatic. You want some clouds. I want some craziness. So I think I'm going to go back when the weather starts to get really bad and all the tourists start to leave. So like October, November? Yeah, I'm thinking so. And I'll spend probably, I'll spend more time in in less places. Yeah. So because and That's what I did too. Yeah. We, we went everywhere. Yeah. We, we had, I was there a month and we went all that's, over the whole yeah, country. It was crazy. That's what I so did So we too. only got a little taste. Yeah, you know, you go snap a photo here and there, but then yeah. they're not like they're good photos. They're not masterpieces, you know. Exactly. If you want a masterpiece, you got to kind of chill in a place for a while and get your shot. That's awesome. I think I'm going to go back and do that. Um, yeah, other than that, just taking photos like crazy every single day. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And a lot more. You do a lot. <laughs> yeah, I try to stay busy. I go crazy if I don't. So. You are. I'm a big, big admirer oh, of yours. You. I appreciate I am, that. I just, I can't believe how much energy you have. It's amazing. If and I, how much... It's not just the energy, but you accomplish a lot. Thank you. A lot more than most people in a short period of time. Now, you didn't do it this time, but the first time you came, you set down a little video camera. Yeah. You did a video of your, you went out to sunset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a video there. Boom, it was all up on YouTube <laughs> within a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so impressed by that. Because I'm like, yeah. okay, I got the show done. I'm tired now. I'm done. Yeah, no, no. I still, I still got a lot going on. I'm starting, um, I'm launching a media company too which is not ready just yet, so I can't tell you the name, but okay. it'll, be, it'll be soon live. And Will it be by the time we have this show? Probably. Which is probably a month from now, I wonder. Maybe. If it is, give us the link. And we'll okay, I'll send it to you, yeah. Okay. But that will be, um, it's just a, a website where we help people connect with customers, like really easily. You mean photographers? Any, any kind of business. Okay. But uh, mainly because a lot of people to ask me, how do I get customers? A lot of photographers. Yeah. Which is what they struggle with. Yep. So we'll be helping photographers in any niche and we'll be helping a lot of businesses in any niche. It's basically a paper, paper click service. Okay. So I'm working on that right now. I'm excited. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go in, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Well, thank you. Um, 
Thank you for being on the show Thank again. Thank you for having me. It's always and a blast. And you're always going to come back, right? I am, but next time there's got to be AC. I know. I'm sorry about it's the AC. Good. It's, it's hot. Good. It's That's really why I'm hot. like, we're done because I'm sweating under right. this sweater We'll open here. that door and you'll be like, I'm oh. literally sweating under the so sweater. Am I. So am I. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next time. Thank you. Um, audience, uh, again, I hope you'll do us a big favor and leave us a review on iTunes if you enjoyed this show. Speaking of Italy, I have a ladies-only trip to Tuscany where I still have a few openings it's uh oh gosh I can't remember the dates off the top of my head but it's the end of September and early October 2019 so it is uh, limited to just seven ladies and you have two leaders because Stefano Caporale, Ca Caporale sorry I can't do Italian he um, lives in Tuscany, so he and I are leading this tour together, and it's a tour workshop, so you're going to learn a lot about photography while getting amazing pictures of Tuscany. We're staying in an old farmhouse. So freaking cool. And a bunch of women. Poor Stefano. Anyway, <laughs> that's in September. It's on our website at understandphotography.com. And then September 2020, we're gearing up for our ladies' um, South Africa trip. And that one is very exclusive. And it, it, yes, it's expensive too because it's going to be very limited. Just five ladies. You've never even heard of an Africa trip to, with just five people. Uh, a little high end, but oh my gosh, we're going to do so many things. We're going to see penguins and seals as well as lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. I don't know about bears. Do they have bears in I Africa? I have no idea. <laughs> That sounds fun. I'm like, I want to be a lady. I want to go check this out. I'm sorry. I'm a sexist pig here. Man. September 2020. So understand photography. All the information is there. I'm Peggy Farron. Thank you so much for watching the Understand Photography Show. We'll see you next Friday.